Katika mageuzi makubwa ya elimu yanayofanywa nchini serikali imekusudia kuzingatia kwa kiasi kikubwa kwa jengea ujuzi wa kutosha wa itimu ili kuwarahisishia kuweza kuingia katika soko la ajira iliyoweza kuajiriwa au kujiajiri pasina kupoteza ubora wa elimu. Waziri wa Elimu, Sayansi na Teknolojia Mheshimiwa Profesa Adolf Mkenda amesema hayo wakati alipokutana kufanya mazungumzo na balozi wa Uswizi nchini Tanzania Mheshimiwa Didier Chasoti ofisini kwake jijini Dodoma leo tarehe moja Juni 2022 tumekutana na balozi eh, wa Uswisi hapa Tanzania tumekuwa na mazungumzo marefu na mazuri sana uh, balozi mheshimiwa Didia Cheso uh, mambo makubwa ambayo tumezungumza ni kuhusu ushirikiano mzuri sana uliopo kati ya Tanzania na na Uswisi hasa katika maeneo ya kuongeza ujuzi kwa vijana kuleta ajira na pamoja na vyo vyetu vya vya, vya ufundi Uh, hapa Tanzania na msaada ambao wanataka kutoa sasa hivi wa karibia milioni tisa fedha zao kwa ajili ya kuendelea kusapoti maeneo hayo kwamba tufanye jitihada kuhakikisha kwamba sasa shughuli hizo zinaanza tumezungumza mambo mengine mengi e, ikiwa ni pamoja na tumemweleza mageuzi ya, ya elimu ambayo tunataka kuyafanya hapa nchini ambayo ni mageuzi makubwa na kama ambavyo tunasema huenda akawa ni makubwa katika historia nchi yetu uh, kwa sababu rais wetu aliagiza elimu yetu iangalie uwezo wa kumjenga mhitimu awe na ujuzi wa kutosha kuingia katika soko la ajira ama ajiajiri au ajiriwe lakini vile vile tusipoteze ubora wa elimu yetu kwa hiyo nimemweleza hatua ambazo tunazichukua jitihada ambazo tunakwenda nazo na kwamba endapo endapo baadhi ya mapendekezo yatachukuliwa uh, kwenye hii mjadala ambayo inaendelea tutahitaji sana kuongeza nguvu kat, kuwekeza katika elimu za ufundi na vyo vya ujuzi wa aina mbalimbali sasa katika masuala ya ujuzi eneo moja hapo ambao wenzetu wa Uswisi wako vizuri sana ni swala la uh, la ukarimu uh, vyo vya ukarimu vya utalii kwa sababu tungependa sana tuone tunajenga mahusiano kati ya ya vyo vyetu hasa vya utalii hasa vya ukarimu na vyo vya uswisi nimependekeza tuangalie uwezekano wa kupeleka wa Tanzania hasa wa kufunzi katika vyo vyetu watumie muda hata mwezi mmoja uswisi wakakae kwenye vile vyo waone jinsi ambavyo wenzetu wanafundisha uh, vijana wao na nimealika na wenyewe watusaidie kuleta wa kufunzi wao waje Tanzania kwa muda mfupi wakae kwenye vyo vyetu kwa sababu wakija huku kwetu vile vile watakuwa natueleza wanachoona kama tunatoa huduma kwa ubora ule ambao unatakiwa. Alichoeleza vile vile mheshimiwa balozi hapa ni kwamba kabla ya Covid kuanza kulikuwa na kampuni moja ya Kiswisi ilitaka kuanzisha chuo cha utalii e, Arusha. A, na ni kampuni ambayo tayari na chuo Dubai lakini waliona kwamba katika maeneo hayo wachukue eneo Arusha waanzishe chuo kama hicho lakini waliacha kwa sababu ya ili baa la, la, la COVID-19 sasa limekwisha nimemuomba ajaribu kuwatafuta atuunganishe nao kwa sababu sisi tunachohitaji ni vijana wetu wapate fursa ya kupata elimu bora kweli kweli ya ujuzi na kama kweli kuna kampuni kama hiyo inaweza kaanzisha chuo kama hicho kwa ubora ambao ni wa kiwango cha Uswisi na vile vile kuleta ujuzi kwa vijana wetu kwa kweli sisi tutafanya kila tunaloweza kuwasaidia waanzishe hicho chuo na tunaamini hicho chuo kitaitangaza Tanzania kwa sababu kitakuwa ni chuo ambacho kitachukua Tanzania na watu wengine kutoka nchi mbalimbali kwa vyote vile nimefurahi sana nimemshukuru sana balozi kuja mara pili tumekutana tulikutana Dar es Salaam naamini tutakutana tena kuendelea mazungumzo yetu na yale ambayo tumekubaliana tutafanyia uh, follow up kwa kisha kwamba yanatekelezwa Yes so we are we are here today and very grateful for uh, for the time of the minister and uh, and the team from the from the ministry uh, Switzerland and Tanzania have a long history of uh, of joint partnership in uh, in supporting the the development efforts here in uh, in Tanzania we have been in the country for 60 years and for the last 40 years Tanzania has been a, a priority country of, uh, of of Switzerland so very and, and in that context um, obviously our focus is very much on the the youth population and especially the the young girls and young women um and hence the uh, education uh, education issues are, are very much relevant for what we what we do and the and the, the contributions that we want to bring 
In particular, we are already in close uh, in close cooperation with the with the ministry and and other relevant parties when it comes to uh, skills de skills development and vocational training. We have had already a first phase of a quite um, significant and ambitious program in that uh, in that um, in that sector, and we will continue um, with these uh, with these efforts. Um, um, and yes, we, we discussed this, uh, this cooperation, this ongoing cooperation and the way forward and how, if possible, to further intensify and expand this, uh, this, uh, this cooperation, in particular, as the minister alluded to, I believe, in the, in the, tourism, uh, in the tourism sector. So um, thank you very much. This was a very useful meeting and we look forward to continuing our, our joint efforts um, together with the ministry and other relevant actors. Kwa taarifa zaidi endea kwa karibu nasi usisahau kusubscribe Uhondo TV